Good morning, David. I had a really good day yesterday. thinking about differential equations and th th this morning I was thinking about Gigi Young talking about going inward and um, I don't know I'm a bit bored of inward. <laughs> Leibniz, Monat. What I wanted to try and explain was these ideas that I had about modeling and computer graphics I was into computer graphics for a long, for a long, long that was kind of my main motivation when I was about 17 or 18, in learning programming. I was learning to represent three dimensions on two dimensions. And when I was studying A-level math, um, it motivated me. I had no problem with learning matrices and things like that. I loved it. It's all useful stuff. But I was a dunce at A level maths because I couldn't solve quadratic equations. I couldn't. In fact, of them. There are certain equations that are cooked up to be factorable, factorizable. There's a little trick that you use to do it, and I never learned that trick. And that meant that I was no good at integration either because. learn the trick. So it all fell apart, the analysis all fell apart on me when I was 17. But um, I think all that was just, no, this was all side effects of clumsy notation that you have to use when you're a kid doing A-level maths. I got lots of ideas about notation and about how you handle vector calculus. Was partial derivatives. I don't know, does that going inwards? It makes me much happier than 
been thinking about. Crap-like personality. but smoothly and continuously. That's the answer. And what the, the big insight that I had was that <clears throat> discontinuities in a visual representation, a, a 2D projection of a 3D or three plus time D space, is there are obvious discontinuities if you if you imagine a sphere hanging you're just representing a sphere it's a smooth continuous surface infinitely differentiable analytic function thingy and um, using lots of technical terms here and if you ha imagine a sphere on a background, as you scan along the sphere, there's an obvious discontinuity at the edge, because at one point you're looking at the sphere, and the next point you're looking at the background. That's a discontinuity. But if you imagine you are looking from multiple points of view say along a trajectory with a an artificial camera that that artificial camera is in motion then the function that you get in the whole manifold the 4d manifold the function is continuous And the, this idea is, I've got a vague connection in my mind with, with the, the, this semantic interpretation of, what did, what did I call it? Relational semantic interpretation of quantum mechanics, Ravelli. In that thing I wrote in 2010. about Lego. Is when you look at the system as a whole, the observers within it and their their time lines. Or their world lines are they include each other when you're doing a physical experiment you you've got to have some way of locating your observers and ultimately they're all located in terms of each other so there probably is a smooth continuous representation of the whole and you only get the discontinuities when you precisely locate the observers and somebody was talking on Tom's channel last night about topology and somebody had watched that that video I made yesterday and I, 
got the feeling afterwards that maybe he was get, trying to get at Stuart Kaufman's Boolean networks. He was talking about multiplying graphs and It's very hard engaging in mathematics, typing into a YouTube live chat with a tiny little keyboard and a, a half-assed predictive text algorithm that changes what you type. So it definitely There seems to be a lot of encouragement around here to going inwards because communicating in order to go outwards nobody's going a long way out of their way to make that easy. I got up late and the sun was very high. I can't eat a normal amount of food. Somebody gave me a meal yesterday. It was, it was nice food. It was pasta with prawns or shrimp. I don't know what you call them. Cameron. potato and rice. It was pretty heavy carbohydrate but I ate about half of it in two installments and I still woke up at one o'clock in the morning with violent indigestion. Not quite as bad as, as I had the night before last but if I eat that much in the afternoon it messes me up for six or seven hours. I going inwards I guess it is <laughs> sorry that's my weather report <laughs>